This episode of What's the Apps is brought to you by Samal. Well, hello there, folks. It's John Q here from Techno Buffalo. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Fa fa fantastic. Welcome to another episode of What's the Apps. Today, we're going to get our task management system on with a little app called 3030. 3030. Okay? 3030. 3030. Very dirty. Hit me. 3030 is a minimalistically simple yet highly visual countdown driven task monitoring app majigger. It works similarly to a to-do app infused with an egg timer of sorts, resulting in the app's keen speciality in task-based time management. These colored things are the tasks. You can manipulate them, touch and move them, swipe to delete them, edit them, create them and start, pause and even stop them. Everything about this app is awesomely minimal, 2D and touch friendly. For example, the task creation and editing screen. There's a spot and section for the title, color swapper, time setter, and even a handful of icons to provide a visual symbolization of the task. Not to mention a dash of fun. Personally, this pig guy is my favorite. He's all up to no good and whatnot, and I, I don't know what this thing is, a picnic basket or something. The settings menu provides you with eight basic options. Only four of them actually control the app. Five if you want to count help. For what it does, the app works rather well. If you're into the whole time management, time is money, I only got five minutes to make my coffee, you know, live and die by the clock, micromanage, micro machine, my, my, hot, we, hot wheels leading the way. On a side note, remember when you're playing Hot Wheels, when you're younger, you're playing Hot Wheels, the Hot Wheels with your friends and you're setting up the tracks. And for whatever reason, you take the tracks apart and you start sword fighting with the tracks and you slap each other and, and, and ah, stop it, it hurts. And the kid goes home, the mom's like, oh, Tommy, what's, what's wrong with your arm? There's a, there's a mark on it. And Tommy's all, oh, mom, I, I fell, I fell on, on a rectangle. And that's my story about Hot Wheels. Another thing you can use 3030 for would be intervally time-based exercises or, or circuit training. So it could be like five minutes of squats and then two minutes of jumping jacks and three minutes of abs and so on and so forth. Down, lift up. As awesome as 3030 is, I feel like there are some areas where the app can improve. First off, the app doesn't continue its countdown if it's not active. If you're on, say, task number one, and the app is in the background, the countdown still works. When it's done, you'll get a notification. Cool. But task number two doesn't start counting down until you open the app, which is a little strange. When 3030 is in the background, it will alert you when it's time to move on to the next task. But the alarm sound itself is pretty quiet, even at the loudest volume. Lastly, it would be nice if you can set times based on real time. It would be cool if you can set something like, oh, it's 225 right now. So uh, I'm going to I'm going to work from 225 to to five o'clock, 510. And, I, and at 510 to, to 543, I'm going to start doing my aerobics. I mean, exercises. Where's the smile? I'm smiling. Bench press and and, you know, just fling tires and whatnot. You know, very manly exercises. And from five, whatever time I said to, to six. 25 i'm gonna to go to to the hardware store buy lumber because i'm um, i'm tough rugged and manly that way very tough like a like a, a, a tree stump and speaking of stores i'm gonna take some time to thank our friends at some all we all live in a world of data 21,568 twitter followers fifteen thousand dollars last year in sales for erasers with crudely drawn hill kitty faces on them and 200,000 page views on your blog documenting the whole lawsuit for unlicensed sales of hello kitty merchandise that that doesn't matter the all that is data Okay, but how do we manage that? How do we keep track of that? Sumall is a remarkably well-designed tool that brings all that data together, from PayPal to Shopify, from eBay to Google Analytics, allowing you to make smart and practical business decisions based on customer habits and previous trends. Want to see last year's sales of Santa Claus themed to beach balls in a fancy chart? Samal has got you covered. Wondering if you're marketing to the right people at the right time? Samal has got you covered. Last week's sales versus this week's sales? Samal has got you covered. MacBook Pro turned off and now you can't turn it back on? Apple's probably got you covered. It depends on whether or not you have Apple Care. That stuff's really expensive, especially for, for the MacBooks. Jeez. With, or no, take it to the store, the genius, the geniuses. Samal launched recently and is free. Yes, free to all for the time being. Jump in and learn more about your company and its customers at samal.com. That's S-U-M-A-L-L.com.
Overall, 3030 is a great little app. It's available on both the iPhone and iPad and is currently free from the App Store. The devs took on a neat pay us what you think the app is worth approach, which is rather refreshing to see. If you're looking for a more solid, feature-packed to-do or task management system, better check out something like Remember the Milk or Wonderlist. But if you want something light, simple, and time-based, check out 3030. It's free, so why not? So for 3030, 3.5 out of 5 for now. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my review of 3030. This was John Q from Techno Buffalo. Thank you very much for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.